of 2021. It's our ongoing commitment to keeping you informed, prepared and safe as Arizona does go back to school. Yeah, today is the final part of our three part series talking with Arizona school leaders about solutions, advice and an important message for everyone during this difficult time. Here's Tram Mai. Tell me some of the things and the advice that you're telling first off to students to get them through this time since they can't be in the classroom. I tell them to take it one day at a time. You know, and just look at today. What do you need to tackle today? What needs to happen? How about for parents, especially those who are trying to work and trying to keep their kids on task learning? R routine matters, any age, by the way. In fact, the younger, the better um, to, to get up, eat, walk, exercise, do your, right? Take your tech breaks, go to the bathroom, take a stretch break. Don't stay up too late. All these constant routines and consistent routines um, are helpful to the kids and to the parents. Great advice. And finally, advice for staff, for administrators, for the teachers who are struggling as well. We have to understand this is brand new. We're going to make mistakes. That's okay. We'll talk about them, fix them, and move forward. But giving ourselves the same grace we're giving others to know that we're all doing the best we can. And right now, that's enough. I think I would just add, um, you, you know, taking that extra time to say thank you, taking that extra time to recognize um, people for the things that they're doing and the efforts that they're making and, and being very explicit about uh, pointing those out to them. Just taking that moment to write that note, to make that phone call, make that personal outreach um, on all sides. Final thoughts, any takeaways that you want to let folks know? Uh, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's healthier to be in school. Engage with clubs and sports, uh, interacting with teachers and mentors. Uh, and so even when systems say we're going to go quarter by quarter, we're going to be careful. Um, that's because we care about our kids and our community, but we want to be back as soon as possible. We, we miss our kids and uh, we know they, they need us just as much as we need them. We miss that connection, that, that in-person connection with our kids. And no matter what's happening, we're going to get through this and we're going to get through this together. The main thing is that we could remember to be kind to each other because we're all struggling and going through this together and we don't know what the other person is dealing with. So we got to remain calm and compassionate and kind in the way that we communicate with each other. I think this pandemic gave us an incredible opportunity to build an unshakable village and the village that will come out of this will supersede the year we lost, right? It'll give us far more than a decade of work in the year we lost. So just to focus on that and know that Arizona will rise and will be better and stronger than when we fell. Absolutely. Stay with 12 News for complete coverage of the class of 2021. If you know about a school story we should cover or a concern we should investigate, email us at connect at 12news.com.